Well, <laughs> hello. I want to get this started before the sun starts coming through the <laughs> Venetian blinds. <laughs> anyway, um, the title of this message for the 21st of October is Three Score and Ten Years Ago. It was 1019 p.m. on October 21st, 1946, at the Good Samaritan Hospital in Suffern, New York, that my mom gave birth to her first child, a son named after his father. Before I was even conceived, they had promised me to God. They told me that when I was 18. Of course, it was obvious long before that. From early childhood, I was drawn to things spiritual, studying various interpretations of the Bible along with other Christian books. As a teenager, I was an avid reader, and in my early adulthood, I was comparing religions driven by what was the most important scripture to me. By this shall all men know that you are my disciple, if you love one another. I've mentioned that in other videos. Anyway, this is a milestone for me. I want to see and experience it as a new beginning, not only for me, but for all of humanity. May God grant me the grace to fulfill my lifelong mission and vision of a better world. It's interesting that I just was reading my emails and I and my friend Mr. Ed sent on, he's a rumor mill news agent, by the way. He sent me this message here. I'm going to read it to you short. Uh, I had heard this would happen just after the final debate, and this source claims tomorrow. We shall see. This rumor was found at GLP posted by anonymous coward and sent to this agent via email. Mr. Ed smiled. Inside info, colon, the elections will be suspended on October 21st. This is not Uncle Intel. This is an actual source and intelligence given to me a few minutes ago. The Obama administration is initiating steps this morning to suspend elections, as the new WikiLeaks information is shining light on criminality rampant in all levels of the government on both the right and left. The decision has been made and will be announced by a presidential announcement on all networks. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, I would love to hear that announcement. That would be a birthday present. That would be <laughs> just, it would, <laughs> it would feel like a, a weight has been lifted off my shoulders, and not only for me, but for humanity. Of course, there's justice that has to be done. There's criminals that have to be <laughs> corralled, and however they need to be brought into step with a real government based on truth. <laughs> what a concept based on real justice, which without truth, there can be no justice. Another great concept. But we have to love one another, beginning with ourselves, because the command is love your neighbor as yourself. As I said in the blurb, I've been at this thing for a long time. I think I was seven or eight years old when I first sensed God in a, in a special way, and the whole church, as I said in, when I shared that experience in a previous video, um, the whole church was silent, uh, and I alone was standing because something happened inside of me, and I was just a kid. I was just a kid, and as I also said in the blurb, when I started reading more avidly as a teenager, I, I devoured everything. I mean, I was not only reading the Bible through every year, I was reading other books and, and studying other Christian religions. And then as I got older, I started studying other religions. 
because it wasn't about loving people that thought like I did. It was about loving, it said, love your enemies. You know, if you only love those that, that think like you, and love, then you're no different than anybody else. Everybody does that. Everybody likes those that are in their club, or at least most people. Uh, you had to transcend that. And so my whole thing was transcending the limitation of my box. And some people still think I'm in a box because I believe in God. And they'd say, there is no God. Well, if there is no God, then there is no purpose. Because to me, God is what gives life meaning. If there is no God, there is no meaning. It can't just all be happenstance. It can't just all be uh, trial and error. It can't be anything goes. It can't be. There has to be laws, limitations. Not unlimited, but limitations. There's only a, one small limitation. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. And if you don't, you're breaking a law and there's going to be recompense for it. It doesn't have to take forever like it seems to. It should happen when you are aware of it. It should be fairly quick so that you could say, hey, this is hot. I'm not going to touch it anymore. You know, children learn that. Children learn to stay away from things that are going to hurt them. Why can't adults be like that and stay away from things that hurt us, like government? Boy, wouldn't it be wonderful. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the United States, the warmonger of the world, all of a sudden went back to the republic and actually obeyed its own constitution and obeyed its own Bill of Rights? and followed the Declaration of Independence. Wouldn't it be wonderful if a basic groundwork were not, well, it's already been laid, but we started building on that groundwork instead of the groundwork of fraud that we've known all of our lives? Oh, you say, but, but Ron, so many people would be hurt if we went to the other system. Yeah, right. So many people are hurt in the other system and those that benefit are the herders and they're the ones that that need to be brought to justice they're the ones that need to to repent and turn away from their evil ways and move into something better this is my vision all of my life to actually see the kingdom of heaven manifest not as a promise but as a reality something that we can experience, something that we can know and know for sure, without a doubt, beyond, beyond all of the, uh, the unbeliefs and the, be, beyond all of the hurts and pains, that we could be healed, actually healed, physically, spiritually, mentally, that we could have ourself restored to how we were created to be in the beginning with abilities and talents and gifts far beyond what we've known in this lifetime in this world that's become so perverted that the worst element in creation ends up being in charge of a world that's a sick sick thing and my greatest request for my birthday is not from the people that are listening, but from the God who I hope is listening, the creator who made things in the beginning. Isn't it time to make it right? That would be the greatest birthday present I could receive. And I'm asking you, God, please, Please let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth, as I hope it is in heaven. Anyway, folks, thank you for listening. Thank you for those of you that are still giving me support after all these years. Thank you and namaste.